It's funny, I usually don't discuss this in interviews, but oh. thank you for asking. <laughs> Wat ik zo jammer vind aan deze internationale tours is dat de acteurs vrijwel altijd anoniemelingen zijn. Laten wij van Musical World TV eens de mens achter die anoniemelingen achterhalen. Because um, I know what the fault people were like in the era, their struggle to settle in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I, I am not exempt um, 60 years later from what they experienced. You know, I've been in New York, I've suffered um, what, what any immigrant suffers, um, moving and claiming their space and proving that they're part of, of whatever place they want to be part of. Who is Onika? Well, Onika is a young girl from a very tiny island called Grenada in the Caribbean uh -huh. uh, that went to the United States to pursue her dreams. Very similar to many of the characters in West Side Story where you leave your home to go to a new country and you're faced with new challenges, mm -hmm. but hopefully you have the tenacity and determination to have your dreams come true. So that's my goal in moving to the U.S. Um, from a small island and so far so good. So good, yes, because now you're touring uh, the world. The world. <laughs> Responsibility, playing a character that has been played so much and by amazing people. On the other hand, I am from the island, I am from Puerto Rico. I try to bring the cultural side to it. I try to bring um, another side, which is the side of, of the Bernardo that is not a gang member. He, he becomes one because he's forced to. Um, he comes from the island, he's humble, he's poor, he gets beat up the first day he moves there. So I need to show the people that it's not the chip on the shoulder, it's not the... And it's very hard because they're very... Um, obviously it's 50 years of playing a, a character. They're very set things to the character. So how do you put your culture into it and how do you make the tweets and, and, and get the message across? It's, it's, it's what's fascinating and the challenge as an actor. Unfortunately. Unfortunately mm -hmm. relevant, meaning that color still plays an issue in the way that people relate to each other, where you're from, the way you speak, your religious background, your, 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 your choice of the way to worship. All these things are still judged by others and go as far as to create war. It has really stood the test of time. Uh, 
I believe what people have said about the production when they see it is they can't believe the youth and the energy that sort of leaps off the stage. So it was written in 1957, but it was so ahead of its time when it premiered and such a masterpiece that I think the audiences will see that not a lot has changed in the world and the story is just as rele relevant to today as it ever was. It's the original Jerome Robbins brilliant choreography, but it's set into new, young, amazing dancers and singers and actors. And I think because of that, it really brings something new and fresh to it. It still feels like, you know, you can relate to the teenagers up there who are fighting against authority and against their parents and trying to find their place in the world. And I think that will always be a relevant message and very much is true of this production. Other plays and shows, as brilliant as they may be, they don't touch on that very important element of just human existence. She's got so far to go, she really begins, Maria begins as a 16 year old who knows nothing about the world, has just moved to New York and is gearing up for new experiences and by the end she's experienced this amazing love and hatred and loss and fear and really becomes a woman and so it's a great challenge as an actor to be able to play that entire span. Tony is known in musical theater as one of the hardest songs, uh, not songs, excuse me, hardest scores to sing. Uh, Tony has the bulk of the music. He sings, he's the only character who ever is on stage by himself. He's the only character who sings by himself to the audience. He sings Something's Coming. Maria is one of the most finely crafted and most difficult songs in the tenor musical theater canon, uh, which I've had the privilege to sing for years now, and I absolutely love it and am honored to sing it. Maria. to bring to it are all the unique things that Scott Sussman can bring to the role. Such as? Tony is such a driven uh, person. He is so curious and s believes so strongly that there's something more, there's something better out there, and I really do share that with him. Uh, in other areas, uh, for a while I did stand-up comedy back in the United States. So I... To play Tony, which can be a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's funny, I usually don't discuss this in interviews, but thank you for asking. I try to bring myself to the role. So if I can find sort of the humor and the joy within sort of the heavy drama of it all, uh, I think that is more interesting. <laughs> This uh, show is that emotional.